today's video, this is the location I'm at. It's called Martinham Loch, or as it's known locally, Martinham Loch. Uh, and I just actually come down here because I knew it was going to be a clear blue sky. What I was going to do was just, I'm down just to do a long exposure. So that was the main thing for this. And I was hoping for some mist to be rising from it. And there was, but unfortunately by the time I'd arrived, there wasn't that much. So I'm gonna to have to come down earlier the next time. The content for the video, I wasn't really planning to shoot anything for the video, just as something cropped up, I was going to do it. So I've got a couple of long exposures there in compositions. But what you'll mainly see is a couple of recce shots for the sunset because right now the sun is setting over here and with that there's an island that you can't see at the moment that i'm standing right in front of probably in the camera it's just over here that becomes a silhouette at sunset and sometimes you get some really nice skies last night was a fantastic sky here i hope it was where you were as well but it's allowing me to see some compositions so I hope you get something from the video. It's just really a tour of this area. I've enjoyed being out shooting. It's too bright now. I'm standing in the shade so that I can film this, uh, but it's too bright now. I've been out for a couple of hours, just taking my time, just looking around. There's a lovely tree here just beside me that might make a really nice composition with, again, with the right light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a walk down, or should I say I've been a walk down, and I'm going to take you a walk down with the video. This is Martinham Loch. This is an area local to me. And I've just arrived at the end of the mist on the water. So I'll make note for that so that the next time we have a morning like this, I can come down early. And as you can see, the sun has risen, but it is still creating. It's about to blow out now, yep. It's still creating a lovely light everywhere. Hopefully you can see that. I'm trying to shield the sun with my shadow at the moment, but the main focus point was here. And then I worked my way through the image for different focus points, just to make sure that this one's sharp. With this as well, I have an ND6 stopper on it because I wanted to really smooth out the water even further than it is. And if you look just now, you'll see how smooth the water is. There's hardly a movement in it, but that for me seemed to be the best option for this. And I'm going to focus on the background, take it down, again, zoom in. As I, as I said in the last videos, I am favoring back button focus. But I did once again forget to put the timer on for this because the camera shut down, so let's go again. I decided to come up early, just to... I knew there wasn't going to be any clouds. So, I'd see there's some just in the background there, but... I'll be honest, I was hoping for none. But they've actually helped add some texture to this, so... We're going to shoot around here and then we're going to head over that way just to watch the, the light and how it plays coming through the reeds. There might be nothing over there, but it's worth going over to see. Get one at the foreground. And then I'm going to head over here just to get a few shots here. Just check that last one. Yep, got it. Okay, I put my tripod quite high for this one, and the reason for that is I don't want the tree reflections coming into the image. So I've boosted the tripod up just to get this. It's just a minimal shot. It's just detail, it's just the reflections. I absolutely love what they're doing here. So I'm gonna zoom in there, get a walk in that. And let's check that. 
and that's looking a lot better, yeah. That's taking everything into account. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to increase that even further. And I'm going to put on the six stopper. Just to increase the time even further. Right now it's shooting at fast of a second. So that should take me right down. So let's see where it goes to. Let's take that right down. I'm reckoning if it's tenth. Yep. So same focus point. Let's try and get it just to be safe. Ah, it's size. And we'll just let that take a shot. So that's 10 seconds that's going to be shooting for. And the light is still nice here. The light in the grass is lovely. So I'm just going to walk about, do detailed shots, have fun with this. And let's see that one. Okay, I'm actually filming this today in the GoPro. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, or be able to see what's going on. I'm just testing it for different conditions. But what I'm actually doing just now is a rock in the foreground here, and there's a tree in the distance, and I've lined them up as best I can without getting any interference from the trees that are just to the side of it. And it's just a very, very simple shot. Still quite, the water is still quite calm, and the rock in the foreground just lines up with the tree. Format wise, I think I'm going to leave this at 2 be 3 but we'll see once I get into post. I, I actually just really like the simplicity of it, uh, of the image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a shot of the tree in the distance and then uh, another shot of the rock in the foreground. And again, I've got an ND6 on for this and we'll see what we get. So I'm going to focus in the background and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to turn on focus auto bracketing and I'm going to go for three images at increments of one. Let's go for that and that's okay because I've got quite a lot of shadows over here and I want the blues, there's a nice blue in the shadows, I want them to come back out. So let's go in here and make sure my timer's on. Two seconds, okay. Focus on the tree. Get a walk in the tree. Take the shot. The blending of these images together is a relatively simple process and I have both of them selected, both HDR images. Just right click, edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. And now that both layers are opened in Photoshop, it's just a case of aligning them. So select both, both layers, Go over to Edit, Auto Align Layers, and just click OK. Now that that's both of them aligned, the top layer, as you can see, is the sharper of the images, and the bottom layer is not so sharp. So what we're going to do is we are just going to create a mask, and in this case, I am going to do a hide-all mask. And I did that by holding down Alt on the keyboard and then I'm going to take a gradient through here to blend it into the sharper image at the end. I'll clean these areas up afterwards. So if I go in to Gradient Tool and we get into the basics and I'll just take white. Make sure the gradient is set to linear. Start about here and draw down. And there we go. You can see just in here, there's a tiny bit of clean up to do, but you can see how quick the blend was. From here, Shift, Alt, Command and E, or Shift, Alt, Control and E, and then I am going to go in and just clean up these areas here. Ultimately, I felt that there was too much middle ground in this image, so I went for a couple of other compositions with it. One of them being a 16 by nine, and where I felt it worked slightly better. And then the one that I felt that was the best out of all 
was the square crop here. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I decided that the day wouldn't end here and although it was too late just now and I was heading back home, I decided that if the clouds in the sky had been as nice than the previous evening, that what I would do, stealthily as you see here, is head home and then plan to come back down at night to hopefully get a stunning sunset. And I wasn't let down by the sunset. Glorious light, textured clouds really made for a good evening shooting. Thanks again for watching. Remember, stay safe and I'll see you in the next video.